Well, I'm here at Bucky's at the uh, Tesla Supercharger. We're on a um, V4 dispenser, but we still got V3 um, chargers. So this is really a 400 volt system. So I'm going to plug in and we're going to see how much we're going to ramp up. Let's get the uh, screen recorder going. So these are a magic dock site, but I also have my adapter. So let's bring up the um, charge run. That's the Mercedes charger nearby. There we go. So we're on 5B. So if I use the uh, magic dock, it brings it out like this with the adapter. But we're going to use our adapter. So let's bring up the uh, Tesla app. So we can look here and we can find 5B also. So Let's use the uh, GM app and let's go ahead and select 5B. Connecting to the charger. Yeah, it looks like we're charging already. Let's see if we see anything on the Tesla app. Nope. So let's go ahead and look inside the car. Doing about 150. Let's see if we can get in there a little closer. That's pretty much all we're really going to see on the Tesla because it's a 400 volt system, and then the battery and the and the um, Denali is set for 400 volts. So we're going to go ahead and um, gonna stop here and then we're going to move over to the uh, Mercedes because we can run the 800 volt system over there. Okay, we uh, moved over to the uh, Mercedes charger. So we can... Um, you can either bring up the charge point app and we're going to look at the uh, GM app. Okay, we see the Mercedes charger and we're in charger number two. It's the single plug, so this charger does um, the 400 um, kilowatts. And so we'll pull 300 
the other chargers I'll show you in a minute, um, they're dual plugs, so they share the 400. And let's bring up the GM app and see if we see the um, these chargers here. Yeah, we do. So there's number two. So we'll use the GM app to to start the charging. Go look at the screen. Oh yeah, we are charging. We're wrapping up. They went right by 150. Three ten. There's three hundred. So let's turn on the air conditioner and show you something. See if it's going to wrap down. Supposedly, um, updated the software so it doesn't wrap down as quick as it used to. But I noticed yesterday when I was testing on an EV Go that it, it really dropped down like 180 and I turned the air conditioner off and it ramped right back up to like 250 where we are now. But it looks like it's holding. So this is the difference on the uh, Tesla is it's a 400 volt charging system so on a road trip I'll use the Tesla as a last resort but I'll always be looking for these um, high voltage chargers. Alright, well let's let this go. So that's charging um, on Tesla and charging on the Alpatronics at the Mercedes here at the Bucky's in Waller, Texas. So hope you enjoy this video. See you on the next one.